Unit 1 of Create a Kingdom starts with creating a character. And the first step to that is knowing yourself because your main character will be based on yourself. So let's take a look. So let's say this is our main character and its foundation is going to be you. And why is that? A couple of reasons. One, because your main character needs to make and make sense that what they say and what they do needs to be consistent with who they are. And the best way to maintain that consistency is to know your character really well and you know yourself very well. So this makes that process a lot easier. And the second reason your main character is based on you is so that they're relatable, so that your readers can um, understand them, what, where they're coming from, can feel for them, and want to cheer them on. So a couple of things to watch out for. You should make your main character human, like you. Because sure, it might be fun to write about an alien, but if they don't have human restraints and you can have them do anything you want, then they're not relatable. And your, the, your readers won't have as much fun reading about an alien who has all these superpowers. They like relating to people. Another thing to keep in mind is keep your character close in age to you. Sure, you could write about Grandpa, but you don't know really how he would think or act. The way an old man would face a dragon is different from how a young person would face a dragon. So keep your character close in age to you. The third thing I want you to keep consistent is your gender because boys and girls do approach some things differently and if you want to keep your character making sense and keep them relatable, keep them the same gender because you understand how you think. And finally, do not make your character perfect because you're not perfect. We actually like imperfect character characters because they are more relatable. And your character can change, especially in The Whipping Boy. You see both Jemmy and Prince Brett changing throughout the story, becoming nicer people. And so their imperfection in the beginning draws us into the story. So again, base it on you, have it make sense, your characters make sense and have them be relatable. And that's easier to do when they're based on you. So to know yourself, we're here on Book Island. We're at Character Lake. The first thing we're going to do is complete the me column in the character worksheet that's in your workbook. So look at the me column and just fill that out. So circle human and circle boy or girl and write down your age and complete this column. And that's our first step to creating our fantasy adventure book.